Greetings, everyone, and thanks for tuning in to another Great American Survival Good Sunday Morning Coffee Review. Now, today we're going to be doing a review of the Stanley Pour Over Coffee System. This thing's really nice. We've had it for a while, uh, taken it on our last couple campouts, and it's worked really well. But today I'm going to make a couple cups, couple cups of coffee. Blah, blah, say that really fast. A couple cups of coffee. Uh, and I'm going to share with you guys the results. I think it makes a great cup of coffee. No, not whether you're at home or in the woods or on a family camp out, whatever you're looking at, this thing works really, really well. If you're looking at a new coffee system, stick with us. I'll tell you all about it. Since I'm warming up my grill, I'm going to be using my Stanley water pot. Uh, this is the Boil and Brew, which is a great little set. And we're going to be using it to make our coffee. So we're going to boil our water here, and then we're going to get started. All right, so as you see, today we are going to be reviewing the Stanley Pour Over set. Now this is in the Hammer Tone Green, really well made, all you know, stainless steel construction, got their nice famous powder coating that just doesn't seem to come off. Um, if you've ever seen the movie The Accountant, uh, he beat a guy to death with a thermos, which is one of these Stanley hammer tone therm thermoses. Uh, what you get in your kit is a cup with a lid. The lid goes down in like so. Very nice cup, full size, I like it. It's not a little shot, it's not an espresso, it's nothing like that. The only thing that I would say negative up front is that the whole thing doesn't stow inside of itself one way or the other. It doesn't come apart. It is kind of bulky. But for truck and car camping, it is perfect. Um, I like using it around the house. It makes a great cup of coffee. And we're going to show you how that works. So, cup and lid. Then we have the pour over. This is the filter. And it comes apart like so. So there is your funnel works really really well it does have measuring increments on the inside which does work really really well especially when you're making pour over and if you're using a kettle or a pot of some sort and you're not just pouring it one cup at a time it helps next you have the cap which is what goes up underneath and holds the filter in place the filter is this stainless steel mesh very durable has held up really really well and i like it just because it's it's you know it's stanley you know, you want work tough stuff from Stanley. That's what you come to expect. So following their recipes, which is not too far off from mine, it says for every 20 ounces of, bring 20 ounces of water to boil. And then you're gonna add three tablespoons for, of coffee, four if you like, four tablespoons if you like mud, and five if you are shameless. So there you go. Then you're gonna bloom it in a circular motion, which I will demonstrate here in a moment. As we wait for our water to boil, our water is over there on the uh, grill, warming up our water in our Stanley Brew and Press, which is another amazing uh, product from Stanley. We have used it for the past few years, and ours has made probably hundreds of cups of coffee, if not thousands, because it generally makes two times at least every camp out, and we do it two to three days in a row, so it makes good coffee. Now this right here, I will say, so say like, when I'm, as I'll demonstrate here in a minute while I'm waiting on the water to boil, is you take this setup and you're gonna add, I'm gonna add four tablespoons of coffee and then I'm going to pour one cup, at a, one cup of water in at a time. And honestly, it's just because if I'm only using this cup or another cup, it's kind of hard to, you can just pick it up and take it off as it's draining once you get to the certain point where you're happy. But I do it one at a time just so I can keep track of it and I can make sure. If I'm putting in four or five cups, uh, tablespoons of coffee, I can get four good cups of coffee out of one filling, which is a de ideally what we want. We don't want to have to do anything more than that. We're just going to throw the coffee in, pour it in, pour it, let it bloom. Then the next cup is going to be 
a little bit better. I think if you're doing a four cup set, the third cup is ideally the best cup for me. The second cup is really well done. It's a little stronger than the rest, but I think the third cup is just not as, not as I think the first cup is gonna be a little watery. Second cup is gonna be almost perfect, a little stronger. Third cup is going to be strong and subtle. You know, you've lost a lot of the heavy sediment, the body that you get through pour over filters. And then your third cup is, like I said, almost perfect. Fourth cup is still really well done. I don't think there is a bad cup out of this when you use it. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna go grab the coffee and we're gonna get going. So as we get started, the water is boiling. I've got my little spoon. I'm gonna throw four. Basically almost level. This is just a Chinese soup spoon. These work really well. I like them because they're big volume and they are very small. You know, for what they are. Then I'm just going to shake that out a little bit. Get it level. I'm going to have a little more. Alright, so we've got our hot water from our boil and brew. This is gonna be awesome. And then what I like to do is just try to pour one cup at a time, just because that's about what we wanna look for. Basically, it's going to be up to the, at the first line is where we're gonna take the water. So, let's go. Ideally, you want to let it bloom. I can't really do that with this, the way I have it set up, but if you want to make it a little smoother, a little better cup of coffee, do it that way. It works really, really well. Let that go down. Moved it over a little better so the sun shines down in there. You can see it a little better under the awning here. Now, this was the first one I made this morning. And this is this new stuff from Folgers, and it's a flavored coffee. It's called like vanilla biscotta, something like that. They sell it in K-Cups. Really good coffee, especially a really good morning coffee, I will say. And it's almost a dessert coffee. Great in the evening. I've done it and made some cold brew with it. Really nice. We're going to get ready to switch this out and get the next cup over here. Now, the good thing about this is it works really well with other cups. It doesn't have to be that cup because of the mouth on it. But as you see, very nice full-bodied cup of coffee. Very nice. Now, I'm going to pour the next one in. And the best way to do this is just kind of go around it. I'll move it up to that line again. And we're good. And we'll let it go again. While it's doing that, I'm going to drink this one because my, my cup is going to be the third cup. Got the sausages going over there on the grill for breakfast. It's going to be awesome. Now, just like with any other pour over, the second, third cups, the bloom has affected, has blocked up a lot of the holes. So it's going to take it a little longer to drain, but still making a great cup of coffee. Like I said, next one, the third, that's the gold for me. All right, so we are brewing the fourth cup of coffee out of this set. I am excited. I am going to take my cup. I'm going to, as soon as it's done, it takes about five minutes, roughly, per cup for it to brew. And it's just because it's draining through and you, it's not a fast process. So I think if you're looking for a system that works really well, there are lots of pour over systems. This one right here, just for the pour over filter, if you don't want the cup and all the other add ons. The filter and the pour over system is gonna run you about $15 on Amazon or wherever you can find it. If you want the entire system, I picked mine up for like 25 bucks and that came with the cup and the lid, you know, and it's just, it's it's held up really well. It's everything you come to expect from Stanley. So when mine's done brewing, I'm gonna take it, have a seat, and I'll tell you what I think. All right, so I'm about to finish this cup of coffee and I wanna say, Stanley makes great products. We all know that. If you don't know Stanley, Stanley makes great high quality products that are designed for the workman. 
Uh, they're designed for um, the outdoor lifestyle. Very durable. Keep your hot stuff hot, your cold stuff cold, and everything you come to expect from Stanley. That's bottom line. I will put a link to Stanley uh, to where you can go and check out all their amazing products, but I'll also put a link to Amazon where you can pick up one of the flow over filters and check out their other pro the other products that are just like them. Uh, I think it's well done. I think Stanley did a good job with this. Uh, I will also want to take a minute to say thank you to each and every one of you for stopping by. We know that right now with everything going on, we are still here. We are September of 2021 and we're still dealing with COVID here in the United States and worldwide. And I want, we want to pray for each and every one of you, for you, your families, your jobs, whatever it is. If you have something you want us to pray for, we would love to. Uh, we do that right now. We just pray for each and every one of you, and we hope that all of us get through this together. We pray for the the way this country is falling towards blame, the blame game. That's not what this is about. Our country is strongest when we support each other, and that's what we're here for. So thank you again for everything, and we hope that each and every one of us get through this together, and we pray that that's the case. So. Hope you guys take time this week to get outside. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy nature. Be prepared and stay safe. And above all, God bless each and every one of you. And I pray for you. Thank you again for coming by. Hope you have a great week. We'll see you soon.